Hello and welcome to the fourth lesson of the four modeling series of the AGR SketchUp course. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to create a waffle structure pavilion. The modeling process in general has two steps. First, we need to create the form, and later we must turn it into a waffle structure. So let's first learn how to create the form. To create the form, we need two shapes. First, a cube of 10 meters on each side and second, a saddle shape to subtract from the cube. To create the saddle according to the cube, we can either rotate the axis around the blue axis for 45 degrees, or rotate the cube for 45 degrees, and it will be much easier to place the circle on the cube. Let's now look at the process within SketchUp. To create a cube, we need to draw a rectangle with 10 meters on each side, and then use push-pull to give it a 10 meter height and we will turn this cube into a group. We can rotate the axis by right-clicking on one of the axes and clicking on Move, and change the value of the Z direction or the blue direction to 45 degrees and click on OK. In order to create the saddle shape, we first need to create a circle and then scale it to turn it into an oval. So I will scale it to about 1.83 or 82, and then we will use the line tool to slice this oval into two halves and we will delete the parts that we don't want and we will select the half oval and then we will make a copy of it to the other side of the cube and we will draw a rectangle for the base and we will triple click on the objects and make it as a group and we will double click to modify the group and we will draw an arc to connect the two half ovals and uh, move it down. So now we would use the Curve Aloft plugin and use the Skin Contour tool to turn them into a saddle shape. I will double click and then right click on the object and click on soft and smooth edges. I will triple click on the objects that we don't want and hit delete. And we want to make sure that these objects, the box and the saddle shape are turned into a solid and we would use the solid tools to subtract the saddle shape from the box. We would select the saddle shape and then we would hit uh, subtract and click on the box. So now the shape is ready to turn it into a waffle structure. To create the waffle structure, we need two sliced cubes, one along the red axis and one along the green axis, and also two copies of the final shape to intersect with the sliced cubes. In order to create the sliced cube, we can uh, create a rectangle from one point of the cube to the other side of the cube, and we would move this rectangle to the other side of the cube and um, hit push-pull and we would push pull this face for 15 centimeters and we would make a copy of it to the other side of the cube and hit divided by 10 or divided by 20. I would select these faces and we would make them as a group. And now we have one of them ready. To create the sliced cube on the other direction, we can create a line to have the midpoint of this cube and we would rotate the sliced cube for 90 degrees and we would have the other direction. And now we would make a copy of this uh, shape, the final shape that we had, and we would paste it in place. Now we have the four objects and now we would use the intersect to intersect the sliced cubes with the shape that we had. And this gives us the final result. There are also some other ways that we can create the final form that we had. Let me undo what I just did. And I will, I made a copy of it. and I would uh, paste it over here. And now 
I will push pull this face to the other side and we would create a line and triple click and make it as a group and now we will subtract it from the box that we have. So this creates another alternative for the shape that we had. And uh, we can also create it in another way. So we would make a copy of this half oval to the midpoint of the box and we would scale it down. I would I used the X-ray to see it uh, through the box and I used the scale to scale it down. And we would use these three ovals and use the skin contour from the curve loft plugin to turn them into a saddle shape. And we would explode this saddle shape and join them with the other uh, objects that we had and uh, create a group from them and use the solid inspector to delete the internal face that we had and subtract the saddle shape from the box and this gives us this shape and we can also use another way so we will make a copy of this face again to the midpoint and this time we will hold shift to not distort the shape and just scale it down. And we would turn them into a saddle shape by using the Curve Loft plugin. And we will repeat the same process again. And we would subtract the form. And you can see that it gives us as uh, this object is not a solid and we would use Solid Inspector to turn it into a solid. And we would subtract the form from the cube. And now we have other types of this shape. You can see how smooth these arcs are. So this concludes the fourth lesson of the four modeling series of the AGR SketchUp course. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.